I believe that uh, all of us in here, we come here because we concern to change the world. That's why you and me standing here. We agree about this. We must change the world now, not tomorrow. Papua recognize Aboriginal sovereignty in this land. So today we stand in here. It means we recognize indigenous people rights. Just as we are fighting for our own dignity also, not only we talk, when we want to look future in our individual position in group, we also stand for it. So I thank you, uh, Dr. Joe, for inviting me to help honor these two great Aboriginal resistance as well as the three women in the guerrilla force. So, not only men, but I believe that the women and children also involved in the struggle. Tana Minner Wait and uh, Mulboy Henner started the process of boundary making between indigenous and settlers in this area of Australia. That is why 5,000 settlers stood here to watch them hang on the end of a rope. The courage should be stamped on every reform that recognizes Aboriginal dignity, Aboriginal land rights, and Aboriginal liberty. The British settler cherished land, not indigenous life, just as the Indonesian today won't Papua land and don't care about us. But we have much more in common than that. We are still the owner of this land, this single land mass. 6,000 years ago, at the end of the last ice age, rising level of melt, melt water separated us and the island of Torres Strait were born. That was when we started calling you, calling this land, or uh, calling uh, Magi Daunda, uh, biggest land, and the Torres Island start calling New Guinea up Deodai first land, and they call Australia Deo Deodai back land. The two, the two hundred years ago, our relation were more or less terminated by the Dutch and British Australian. Then, of course, with Indonesia 60 years ago, we become and still are an operation military zone completely isolated from everybody. That is why I was, that is why I was so happy in 2002 to formally reignite our relationship at the 30th anniversary of the 10th Embassy. And that is why a team of West Papua will be in Canberra next week for the embassy, embassy's 40th anniversary. And that is also why I am inserting the so story of Tane Minerweight and Molbo Henner into our West Papua story. It is their, their, it is theirs and your defense of this homeland, the fight against colonization that is making this nation unique and our work for place and our work for peace and justice in West Papua that is resonating through the Pacific. We are, as uh, my cousin Anolab, his anthropologue, said moment before he was executed. The eagle on high, soaring above and searching below, and the unlucky fate of being hunted by the hunter and killed is a moment his, in history, but the moment well worth remembering. Once again, I hope we're not here only today for coming and look and talking, but today we must starting to uh, fighting for the right, like what our brothers and sisters 
of uh, indigenous in here they're doing and they have been doing because we're starting today we will look result tomorrow free indigenous of australia free indigenous people around the world and freedom of all of us in here because when we start free we will free the country thank you